Greg Retainment, and I got a trick for you. Okay, you know what? First, I think you should probably, uh, I'm going to show you the trick. I'm going to present it the exact way that I do when I present it to anybody in any of my audiences, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, a small or large crowd. So, uh, let's see, this trick does involve a deck of cards, regular deck of cards. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the same way. So, here's what happened, okay? Back when my daughter was, uh, what, she was in grade three, and she's 21 now, so it was quite a while ago. Uh, she came home one day and she says, Dad, my class has a project. They want me to teach the class something, and I want to teach them a magic trick. And I said, okay, whoa, whoa, that's, uh, that's not allowed, but you know what? Let me think about that. And I came up with an idea. I'm going to try one fairly simple one, one that will be good for the kids to learn and easy for them to learn, but I'm going to see a bit of an experiment how long it takes for it to come back to me. So this is the trick. You ready? Okay, first of all, I want you to pick a card. Any card, doesn't matter which one. Now I realize there's nobody here to pick the card, but I'm going to do that, okay? So I think that... Oh, but not that one. No, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so take that card. Okay, so the person takes that card. In this case, it is the Queen of Hearts. Okay, but take the Queen of Hearts. And I say to them, okay, make sure you show everybody that, that, that card, okay? So everybody's showing that card, and everybody gets to see that card, okay? So they take that card and say, okay, now I'm going to take the card from you. Don't worry, don't worry. The cards do this trick. It's okay if I see it even, okay? So I'm going to take this card and watch. I'm going to take that card. I'm going to put it about halfway in the deck, right about there. I'm going to tuck that in there. Okay. Now I need you to pick somebody. Somebody's going to help. So who's it going to be? Doesn't matter who. Okay, good. I want you to just, that person there, I want you to get you to tap on there twice. That's what they do. Okay. I said, why? Did, did you see what happened? It happened right there. It was really, really fast. What happened? So your card just came, flipped, upside down, and went back in the deck. It's upside down in the middle of the deck now. And they go, sometimes they go, oh, wow, cool. And I go, do you believe me? And they go, yeah. And I go, okay, I don't need to show you the rest. I'm kidding. I'll show you. Okay, watch. So we go through there. We're going to find a card about halfway in there. And that card's going to be sitting there. Look at that. Upside down. That's your card, right? Is that your card? Yeah. Awesome. Isn't that an amazing trick, right? I love that one. Absolutely. And now I'm going to show you how it's done. So I want to remember something is that everything that a magician does is on purpose. Okay. Virtually everything. Okay. We think through all the steps of everything and it's all done to uh, make people think differently. Uh, slight manipulation is what it comes down to. So watch this one. First of all, Take this deck of cards. It is a regular deck of cards. There is nothing strange or new about them whatsoever. Or new or different, I should say, about them. They are newer. Okay, you take the, the deck. Often I'll even uh, I'll take, give it to the person and say, hey, if you want to shuffle them, go for it. And they can shuffle them. It is a random choice of any card. So I say, okay, I'm going to get you to pick a card, any card. And they pick, say, this one. And I'll say, oh, not that one reason I do that is to shake them up a little bit. It stops them, it stops them thinking about, ooh, it's a trick. It starts, it gets them a little bit, oh, shakes them out of the, the, the space they're in, right? So they take a card. In this case, it's gonna be the two of hearts, okay? Um, I only put it down here so I can show you the rest. So as they take that card, I say, okay, you wanna show everybody? They do that. They go and show everybody, which is great. Here's what I do when it happens. I put my hand on here. Now you notice I'm just hanging the card, hanging onto the cards very casually. Take a look how I'm hanging onto them, okay? Three fingers here, thumb here, this one here. It looks casual. I'm just hanging onto the cards this way, nice and easy. There's a reason, and I'll show you this, okay? So, as they're showing, the, showing everybody the card, I take the cards and I just kind of go like this, and I do this. See this card? Top card comes off. I do a quick flip like this, and then I hold the cards again, casually like this. It looks normal. However, this is what the deck actually looks like now. Okay, only the one card's turned around. Okay, let me show you that again really quickly. Okay, we take this right here, and we go, okay, so you just do it, okay, awesome. So. You notice I'm talking with my hands as I'm moving things around so it's natural that things are moving. Totally natural. Again, that one's upside down. That's how that happens. See? Okay, one more time. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, is that? Yeah, you show everybody the cards. That's right. Awesome. Okay, so you make sure everybody sees it. Okay, I've done that. Everything's casual. We're back here. Everything's good. All right, so then I take that card. I say, okay, I'm going to take that card. I'm going to put it about halfway in the deck, right about uh, here. Now, there's three really important things that are happening right now. Okay, one, First off, I'm using a bicycle deck. The reason I use bicycles is it's got the white edge around, first of all, okay? That's important because if you're slightly off of your cards, not hugely obviously, but if you're slightly off, you don't notice that. Any card that's printed edge to edge in the back, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to tell. Secondly, a bicycle deck, bicycle's pretty normal worldwide. Well, at least in North America, it's one of the biggest widely used decks of cards there is. Um, that and I think B is the second ones. But um, use bicycle deck. No one's going to think, oh, no, it's trick deck. Because you don't want people thinking that. It's, that's not crazy. 
Secondly, okay, or thirdly, I should say, important thing is I'm going to take this thing and put it about halfway in the deck. The reason you're doing that is halfway on this side is also halfway on this side. You want it to be halfway because you're going to have to flip the deck later, and it's got to be about halfway in the same spot. Okay, I always say about halfway too, so people aren't expecting perfection. It's an important thing. Words, everything's done for a reason. And lastly, this finger is important. Okay, remember I said I was holding it kind of casually, and I'm holding it like this. Well, there's reasons, so it's always staying like this. Not a big deal. If I was holding it like this, and I wasn't really as clean as I was placing this in, I go like this, and it gives away the fact that I'm putting that in upside down right off the bat. You don't want that. Okay, so let's go through this. Stay with me here. There's stuff at the end. Okay, we're going to tuck that right in halfway. And then I say, okay, so I need someone to help me. I do this up there, someone to help me, out there. Cast it out this way. Why? Uncle, I need someone to help me. Okay. I need someone to help. Why? The focus then, it goes way out there. Okay. As the focus goes out there, I say, okay, good. Now watch this. Again, this is all sitting there casually. I go, okay, so I need someone to help me. Okay. I need, I need someone to help me. I need someone, who's it going to be? Okay. Notice the movement there. Boom. Who's it going to be? What happened there is I grabbed this, flipped it, and then wave like this. Okay. So it's boom. Who's going to help? Okay. Awesome. Now you don't make it obvious. Right? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> None of that. Just say, so who's, who's going to, okay. Awesome. You're going to help. Nice and casual. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to get you to tap on there twice. The tap's nothing more than show, but there's a reason why you held it out that way, that way, which gave you the reason to flip. Tap, tap. Done. Now I'm going to show you through. We're going to get through. We're going to find that card in there. Upside down. Boom. There it is. Wow. Now, as people go, going, wow, that's really cool. Some of them are going to turn to each other. Oh, that was really neat. Wasn't that neat? Some are going to go, oh, wow. Someone's going to stare, though. Okay? That's the reason I mentioned that. We still have a problem. The problem is this card backwards in the back of this deck here. Okay? Here's what we're going to do. We take these cards. Well, now we're just putting everything back where it came from, as far as the people are concerned. Okay? Your audience. We put this here. And as I go like this and gather them together, I take that bottom card and flip. Nice and slow there, you saw. Okay? So when I talk... I can talk like this, and I blah, 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 blah. Isn't that neat? Wasn't that a cool trick? Yes, I taught my daughter when she was in grade three. Wow, Trini, yes, I'll teach you how to do it. But you see that there, right, with that card there. So anybody, there's always, there's, always, but there's people who are skeptical, and they're going to be looking for things, okay? If you hold like this continually, and you're not, you know, they're going to say, I've had it happen, okay, before I figured out, oh, i got to switch this. Someone said, let me see the bottom card. In fact, I've had people say, let me see the bottom card before I even get to it. And they'll go, let me see the, 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 let me see the bottom card. And I go, there? Oh, never mind. It's pretty good. So uh, there you go. That's a trick. It's not magic. <laughs> no, that's a great trick. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, key thing to remember, practice, practice, practice before you do it for your friends. Right? Make sure that you've done, uh, gone through it many times. And if you want to get right down to it, do a video of yourself or do it in front of the mirror so you can actually see what it is your friends see. Because they don't see this side of it as you're going through. They see it there and it's a lot different. Awesome. <laughs> Take care. I should sell these. <laughs>